Okay, round three, game two. Not going to mulligan this. The only question here is do we play the tap land on turn one or not? And it looks like we don't need to. You know, if we did, then we could use Greenside Watcher um, to play it. I don't think uh, we need to worry about that, though. So we'll play this, I think. Uh, actually, we'll just we'll play it now. Yeah, we'll play Greenside Watcher. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. I think Disciple's fine. Uh, if we draw a red, then we can give it first strike. Okay, I don't think it mattered. Another Centaur's Herald. Alright, I am going to bash in. And then we will make a Centaur at end of turn. And then next turn we will uh, either play a Centaur and a Greenside Watcher or Disciple or 2-2 two -two drops depending on what he does. Okay. Pit fight is fine, so I think we can just attack first here and see what happens. Order spree, all right. So I guess these two drops aren't getting any better, so let's just run them out. Maze's end, huh? All right. We're just going to bash in. Okay. I'm perfectly fine with him spending one for one removal like this, considering that we were on the draw and um, we have more creatures in hand. So it's likely that we are going to be able to outgas him here. I guess he is getting up there in mana, so our draws could get outclassed fairly fast, but we do have a Crawl Warrior and he'd be a 5 5, so that's pretty effective. You. Alright, awkward. Um, I don't really want to trade that just yet, so I think I will just pass. Oop, phone call, one moment. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Alright, so let's see what he's going to do here. I don't think he'll attack, because that would probably be bad for him. So we'll make our centaur. Um, sure, and I guess we can do this. Uh, and then probably pass, and I'm likely going to sack this um, at end of turn, since we have... Um, our blue and red source anyways. This game is not going super well. Kind of need a threat. Maybe it would have been worth just cracking in with this, and then if you trade I would have been able to get in with my other two. I don't know. Um, he's going crazy with this. 
I don't think he has 10 gates, so Blaster Genius. All right, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I do not have the mana to pump it. Awkward. Yeah, that's really bad for us because now he gets to draw a bunch of cards and he has a strong threat on the board. He discarded a six drop, so that's a little bit scary. Oops, and you have to. So if Zert Hydroid wasn't the most annoying card, then the Greenside Watcher gate interaction is because it's very cumbersome. All right, speaking of Zert Hydroid, ready go. Um, so I think we have a lot of good draws, you know, Progenitor Mimic um, will take any game away, and he's burned through a bunch of removal. He has six cards in hand, though, so if we don't get something going soon, uh, I think we're in quite a bit of trouble. Ah. Okay, well, that could be really bad for us. All right, he didn't hit the Progenitor Mimic, so that is good. And also there is something with scavenge. So if he doesn't grab that, I assume he will, because he actually didn't hit that much. He could take Ivy Lane, I guess. Yeah, if he doesn't take this, then I get to scavenge, which is pretty good for me. Because uh, then I can scavenge and pit fight. Yeah, so this is actually like, could have been way worse. Um, and if he attacks me, this I'm absolutely trading, I think. Maybe even with these two, so I could scavenge onto this. Yeah, that seems bad. That's awkward. That is awkward. Because if I kill this, I wanted to go back to my graveyard so I can scavenge. So I think we're just passing. This looks like something very large. Another one? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, he got it. All right, we're done. Assuming he grabs it. Yep. All right. Uh, well, let's see what he what he picks. I presume it's Kogari Longlegs. Actually, we're not just dead. I take that back. But we, we only have seven cards left in our deck, uh, which is awkward. Why wouldn't he attack? All right. Um, so I think what I have to do, unfortunately, is annihilating fire. This. And then pit fight it with these. Whoops. Pit fight like that with these. That was pretty terrible. Okay, well now I think we're pretty much dead. Now we have to draw like Rurik Thar. And I'm not even sure if that does it. Because we'll probably just get decked. It's pretty hysterical that he has two of these. Nope. Zertod Rurik down. Yes, I will trade. I would not have attacked in with a Crows to Monitor if I were him, because now if I draw another creature, I can scavenge on, and that is... Okay, unless he has a trick. I was going to say, then that is one way that I could win this game. All right. I think Blast of Genius does it again. Go, go, Slaughterhorn. So, assuming his two cards in hand are land, what removal did he have? So he had Errors of Justice, he has Devour Flash, is it Charm Augur Spree? Okay. I just want to know for next game, which I think it's likely going to go to. Taking seven here. 
And he has another card. Oh, wow. All right, yes, we are very dead. All right. Do I need to side anything then? Double break in and enter in. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hmm. Well, I think our deck is actually pretty good against it. I mean, obviously we have Progenitor Mimic, which if he hits that, like, we're just hosed. But, you know, we're not going to play around it. Um, and he has Augur Spree is the thing that I'm most worried about in terms of him being able to kill the Mimic. Uh, but most of his things only do two damage, so we can pretty safely copy three toughness creatures with it. I'm just going to submit. I don't really see anything I want to change. Um, 